Hello, family. The season of Lent is a time in which we reflect upon the suffering and the sacrifice of our Savior, Jesus Christ. It is also a time when we reflect upon our own sinfulness, on the things that we have done that have not been pleasing in God's sight. In the season of Lent, it's important to acknowledge our mistakes, to acknowledge the things that we have done wrong, and to ask God for forgiveness. The second important thing that we should do in the season of Lent is to listen for the voice of God as we acknowledge our sins and seek forgiveness, and then do what God tells us to do to fix them. There are things that we should and must do to rectify mistakes that we have made. Perhaps we can make right or wrong, make someone whole who we have hurt. Whatever it is, listen for the voice of God. Hear what God tells you to do, and then do it. The third thing that we will, will do and must do in this season as we reflect on the suffering of our Savior and reflect on our own sins is to deal with the consequences of our sins and move beyond them. There are always consequences to every action. When we do wrong, there are consequences. When we make mistakes, there are consequences. Deal with the consequences and move on. And then finally, I want to suggest to you that in the season of Lent, that we need to learn from our mistakes and do our best not to repeat them. I use an, an analogy in the, in the sermon earlier today about a person who makes a sweet potato pie and leaves out a very pivotal seasoning. And the sweet potato pie doesn't have the right flavor. The taste isn't good and no one enjoys it. When that person realizes they've made a mistake, they go back and say, let me do this again. They make the pie over and they leave out the same ingredient again. That means that though they made a mistake, though it was recognized, they did not make the necessary changes so that it wouldn't happen again. So they repeated the mistake. I saw a post on Instagram that I found most thought provoking. So I want to share its words with you. The, the post said, Nothing should go back to normal. I know that when you hear me say that, you're thinking to yourself, no, we want everything to go back to normal. No, the, tech, the post says nothing should go back to normal. Normal wasn't working. Think about that. Normal wasn't working. If we go back to the way things were, we will have lost the lesson. There's a lesson in every major occurrence in life. There's a lesson in the pandemic and the occurrences of the last year. There's a lesson that we must learn, not just individually, but America must learn and the world must learn. God is speaking to us. And if we go back to the way things were, the lesson will be lost. We must rise up and do better. That's our goal. That's our responsibility. We must do better, because when we do better, we will be better. In this season of Lent, I pray that your reflection will lead you to new vistas of growth and change in your life, that on the other side of the season of Lent, when we come to the high and holy celebration of Easter Day, that you will truly be able to rejoice in the resurrection of our Savior, but not only in the resurrection of our Savior, but in the new life, in the new resurrection that God brings to you. God bless you and God keep you.